structure of our government india is a democratic country it doesn't mean that all the citizens rule the country it is not possible for all the people to rule such a huge country like india so we elect certain people who became our representatives and rule the country so these representatives form the government government refers to the people who govern the country our country follows a democratic form of government it is the rule of the people for the people and by the people the citizens of india have the freedom to elect the representatives we have two forms of government one at the central level and one at the state level the government at the center is called the union government and at the state it is called the state government union government the union government was established by the constitution of india union government is commonly known as the central government the union government makes laws for the whole country and deals with issues of national importance the legislative body is the parliament it has two houses these are lok sabha and rajya sabha their members are known as the members of parliament members of the parliament belong to several political parties the government is headed by the prime minister the president is the constitutional head of our country state government the state government also function same as the central government each state has its own legislative assembly the members of the state legislative assemblies are elected by the people of the state it has two houses these are vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad many states do not have a vidhan parishad the number of mlas and mlcs also differ from state to state the number of mlas or mlcs is in proportion to the population of the state in our country uttar pradesh has the largest assembly because it has the highest population every state has a governor who is appointed by the president of india the party having a majority of members of several parties together elect their leader the governor appoints this leader as the chief minister of the state the chief minister and the members of his council of ministers run the government of a state judiciary the judiciary is the branch of government that deals with interpretation of a nation's laws resolution of legal conflicts and judgments for violations of the law judiciary is the sole authority in our country to deliver justice just like the government it is organized hierarchically at three levels these are at the national state and district levels the supreme court is the highest court of justice in india it is located in new delhi it is headed by the chief justice who is appointed by the president at the state level there are high courts there are also smaller courts such as sessions courts and district courts if the people are not satisfied with the judgment they can approach a higher court in such cases the judgment passed by the supreme court will prevail